Good afternoon. We're here in Old House Lane, which is off Rocky Drive on the southern outskirts of Haywards Heath. This is a uh, relatively new development that was built by Cress Nicholson just a few years ago and was known as their Beaches development. But uh, a really lovely development. The houses here are all very well spaced out. A lot of detached houses rather than um, uh, mass reduced houses. And this particular house that we're gonna have a look at now is number five, is one of the big detached five bedroom houses. And this one occupies probably one of the best positions in the development, being on a level corner plot. And you'll see in a second, we're here sort of mid-afternoon and the sun, as you can see, is up above us behind the house because we're west facing at the rear. But a lovely position here. We're overlooking this green. There's a sort of green up to your left with those houses scattered around there. And that's the outlook to the front. But a really nice position here. But a popular development, it's all a managed complex like most of these new developments now, and the residents pay uh, here £384 a year. So come and have a look. The house is absolutely spotless and the owners have been here since it was new. I'm just gonna slip my shoes off. So come around, let's have a nose. So downstairs, great big entrance hall, useful cupboard there. Rooms flow really well. I'll take you around in order. So firstly, we've got the downstairs cloakroom, absolutely spotless. And the owners of this one have actually found a brand new house, which they're hoping to be able to move into during June. So there's a good chance someone buying this could try and be in here by the end of June, if you can move quickly enough. But that's the study. So good double aspect room, windows on both sides. Next door, you've got the playroom, could be the dining room, whichever way you want to use it. These guys have this as a playroom. You'll see in a second why, because they've got an enormous kitchen, but a nice room. Windows to the side, some lucky ladies in here. And then another fabulous room. This is the sitter room. So this is a vaulted room with the high ceilings. Again, very nicely decorated. And it's triple aspect. So you've got the bay window to the side, obviously the two windows facing back. And a fireplace. So a lovely stone fireplace with a wood burning stove and the granite hearth. You've got doors from this room out onto the terrace and the west facing rear garden. And this side of town proving very popular with families because you're actually in the uh, Warden Park Secondary Academy catchment area over here, uh, which is the next door in Cookfield. Um, however, the area is well served by numerous independent schools, so you can get through to several private schools in the area as well. So here's the kitchen. Now in total, this room is about 34 feet in length. So very much this end is the kitchen. Um, the owners upgraded on the various appliances when they bought this house. So that there is an enormous fridge and freezer. So a great big double size fridge and freezer. You've got the wine chiller in there, the dishwasher. And again, they went for the twin ovens with the extractor. And these are silestone worktops and they've actually upgraded and had the uh, little uplifts, the little slips um, for splashing and so on. But great kitchen, so nice kitchen with a breakfast pile, very much the sitting area, obviously plenty of room for a TV, sofa and chairs. And then the dining area at the end with a roof lantern. And of course the bifolding doors out to the garden. I'll take you out there in a minute. This terrace, we are pretty much directly west facing here. So the sun sets directly off the back. So this sun terrace is always gonna be in sunshine. But a fabulous big kitchen living area. That's how people are living these days. And then we've got utility room there. There's a utility room, ideal for bits and pieces. And then come upstairs, I'll show you the bedrooms. Uh, railway stations. Now, I'll let you into a little secret. We're right on the southern side of Haywards Heath here. Now, it's actually easier to drive down to Wivelsfield Station in Burgess Hill. And from there, you've got lots of free parking around the uh, park at Wivelsfield, which is on the northern outskirts of Burgess Hill. And you've got more chance of getting a seat there. Although the trains at the moment are all empty, so you shouldn't have a problem with that. And here's the main bedroom. So fabulous big room. You've got a full range of wardrobes there. Another double wardrobe here. It's a lovely big bedroom. And you've got the sort of extra seating area or dressing area, however you want to dress it up with these full length windows. So we're overlooking the green at the front. Really nice outlook. 
that's the window to the front and that's the one to the side so obviously on the other corner you've got the identical house again great outlook and other things to bear in mind facilities wise schools your nearest primary school to here is Bit of a weighing up now. You've got several primary schools. They're all about a mile away. So you've got St Wilfrid's, you've got the Warden Park Primary Academy, and you've got St Joseph's, which is the Roman Catholic Primary School. Um, however, your Bolnor Village is probably the nearest school, but I know trying to get into the catchment for Bolnor is really quite tough. This is the family, um, this is the ensuite bathroom to the principal bedroom. So as you can see, oversized shower, super duper shower unit over there. And of course, a full bath, really nicely tiled in here. So that was the main bedroom, nice size. And then this is the fifth bedroom. Now at the moment, as you can see, they're using this very much as a dressing room and of course our fitness suite, which we all want these days. Again, overlooking the front of the property. It's a nice afternoon to do the film. Built-in cupboard in this one as well. So if you imagine, obviously these wardrobes wouldn't normally been here, it would be a little bedroom, but great, have it as the dressing room or another study. Next door, this is probably the fourth bedroom. Again, good size room, big bunk beds in here, so lots of uh, furniture in here as well, but a good size. Opposite, you've got the family bathroom, which is almost a mirror image of the ensuite. So you've got an oversized shower again, with a big shower over, and the double-ended bath there. Similar tiling with a window here. And then the guest bedroom. Nice room, again, plenty of wardrobes, big windows. It gives you an idea of the driveway. You've got driveway parking for about four cars, which is pretty good. Any of these new developments, their normally parking is at a hell of a premium, but thankfully Crest actually sold off some of this land to another developer and obviously cherry picked the best of it. And obviously they took the space with all the houses, all the best houses, in my opinion, of course. Everyone's entitled to their own. And this is the second or third bedroom, should I say. So another good size double. This one's overlooking the rear of the prop, rear gardens. And I'm not gonna open the blinds, but actually you've got a view all the way to the south downs from this window, which is really good. So there you go, it's five good size bedrooms. Let me grab my shoes and we'll take you outside. Now in total, uh, the house itself is uh, about 2,600 square feet, plus you've got the garage, and the garage is another 300 odd square feet. So in total, we're almost 3,000 square feet. So that's quite a spacious home. Obviously, you don't really get houses this big on this sort of size, but this really is a well-proportioned house. So three big living rooms, the fabulous kitchen. In fact, we'll go out through the kitchen. Let's close that door. Everyone loves this room. You've got really high ceilings in here as well, which uh, something I didn't notice earlier. And of course, the vaulted ceiling with the uh, roof lantern there. So come and have a nose outside. And as I mentioned, this back garden is west facing. So a real sun trap. Everyone goes on about a south facing garden. Personally, I would rather have a west facing garden. So by the time you get home, the sun is there facing your terrace. So come and have a look. This garden, I've measured it. I think it's 62 feet wide by 48 feet wide, um, 48 feet deep. As you see, the owners have actually planted a lot of trees along the black, uh, back here, and they're not young trees. They planted them at quite a good mature age. You can imagine this is gonna really screen off well. So at the moment we're here early spring. So, I mean, there's no windows from that house really looking at you of any significance, a little landing window up there, I think. But this is gonna be really nice. And when you come around here, you suddenly realize just how big this house is. Even room for an enormous trampoline but all fully enclosed as well. Now this, I did mention this earlier, this is on a level plot. A lot of the houses on the, in Haywards Heath, or certainly on this development, you've got a sloping garden, or the garden steps down onto a lower tier. But that gives you a pretty good idea of the house from the back. I mean, if you really wanted to extend the house, you could, but really speaking, who needs to? And then I'll quickly show you the garage. Garage, big, it's a big garage. It's not quite a double. They're, they're longer than a normal garage. Um, but also not quite as wide. So great big garage, electric up and over door, plenty of room for a car and everything else. So great bit of space there. But there you go. That is number five Old House Lane off Rocky Drive on the southern outskirts of Haywards Heath. You're on a big west facing level plot. 
It's a house of around 3,000 square feet. You're just over two miles from Wivelsfield Station, just over two miles from Haywards Heath Station, and the property is offered for sale with no onward chain. I hope you like what you see. If you'd like to come and have a look, please give us a call.